good everybody welcome to an epic my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some brand new wwe elite action figure news for you guys very exciting stuff coming out for mattel and their wwe elite series here today guys we're going to go through some brand new elites announced and they are pretty much confirmed i can go ahead and confirm at least three of them one of them is rumored and then we don't know the other two but we kind of have a similar you know we kind of have an idea we'll go about that you know we'll cover that portion but we are going to talk about Elite Series 78 from Mattel and the WWE Elite line right here, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We already know this has been announced for a while as far as I am concerned. This has been announced for a, quite a long time now. But it is WWE Elite Series 78 R-Truth. We did know that R-Truth would be a part of this wave. We've seen the render image a hundred times. I had a dream of it like a year ago. We've seen the render of the 24-7 Championship. So we can pretty much go ahead and lock this down. R-Truth is a bona fide, you know, this is locked up. And I do want to give a huge shout-out to wrestle fig news on twitter as well as my boy d freedom 30 on twitter and instagram always up to date on the mattel news he's flying all over the place and so is wrestling figure news source on twitter there are the two bona fide sources so these are pretty much confirmed i wrapped it up with d freedom he said that three of these are confirmed which we're going to get into but one of them is rumored but our truth our truth is a bona fide just straight up, he is announced. He is fully confirmed, and we already know. We know what he looks like. We know everything about him. So our truth is definitely there. I love this figure. I think he looks great. I love the head sculpt. I like the parts choice. I can't wait to get this. I would honestly love to see new tooling for his ankles. I really don't want to see the same John Cena defining moments ankles. I feel like they get really loose and kind of weak to stand. So hopefully they give us some new tooling. I'd like to see tooling uh, that's brand new with our truth, just so he doesn't have the loose ankles. But our truth is our first figure in the wave. The next figure, guys is pretty crazy, but yes, it is another Seth Rollins. We have another Seth Rollins Elite. Now, I have a couple things, you know, gunning through my mind right here because, you know, we are getting Elite Series 75 Seth Rollins in the Royal Rumble 2019 gear. But the thing that's really going through my mind here is, is this supposed to be the top talents figure that, you know, maybe, you know, didn't uh, didn't quite get out? You know, they, they had him up for pre-order on ringsidecollectibles.com, and then they actually pulled that, and they, you know, put him away. I don't know if they're canceling the line. We we don't know if the line's on hiatus. We really don't know the, the full extension of, you know, all of that news. But the top talents 2020, is this the figure that they're going to go ahead and put in here as that figure? Or are we also, later on in the year, getting a 2020? 20 elite Seth Rollins. That would make three elite Rollins we're already getting for the year 2020. Who knows? That's just what I'm guessing based on it. I know there's a ton of attires the guy could have. Um, I wouldn't expect us to get a flashback, so I'm guessing that Seth Rollins, it would be the Avengers gear. It would be his black SummerSlam gear. It would be the Chicago Bulls Survivor Series gear. It could even be his WrestleMania 35 gear. So there's so many different gears that he's worn since, uh, you know, since we've gotten that Royal Rumble figure coming out in Elite 75 in 2019. Seth Rollins wore a ton of different attire, so it could literally be any of them. I'm happy with any of them. I'd honestly not, I really don't want to have the black attire since we just got, you know, or we didn't just get, but uh, I don't, I don't know. I just, I would care for a better looking attire in my personal opinion. But anyways, guys, that's besides the point. Moving forward, Seth Rollins is the, is the figure confirmed for Elite 78 next to R-Truth. And it could be the same figure that was going to be Top Towns 2020 that they wanted to push into another wave. Or it could be a whole brand new figure. We'll just have to wait and see about that. But the next figure we have for Elite 78, guys, is Matt Riddle. Yes, Matt Riddle is confirmed for Elite Series 78 right there. So that's three figures that are bangers already. We did take a look at figures we wanted in 2020 in the last uh, the last week or two. We did part two yesterday. If you guys missed that video, go check it out. But we did the WWE figures that we need in 2020. Matt Riddle was a part of that video, and he was a part of part one as well. I kind of, you know, tweaked him in again. And so we have my custom Elite Matt Riddle. We already have the basic, and uh, I think that this one's going to be fantastic. I would guess they probably use the same exact head sculpt. Who knows? Um, if they don't use the same head sculpt, maybe we can just, you know, you can easily do a fix-up popping the NXT Basic or whatever, Basic 103 Matt Riddle head sculpt onto your Elite if you don't like the head sculpt that Elite 78 Matt Riddle comes with. But I think Bill did confirm that he would have removable sandals hat and jacket or at least one of the, or two of those. I know we're getting sandals for sure. I think he even mentioned something about a cloth jacket possibly. And then a flat bill hat accessory would be perfect for that figure but who knows if we're going to get all three but Matt Riddle is confirmed for Elite 78 which is just incredible. I'm freaking hyped for this. I can't wait to see what he looks like. What attire they go with. I, I hope they don't go with the basic one. I'd like to see his red attire, maybe his blue attire or the attire that I would most like to see is probably the New York Yankees attire even though I'm a Red Sox fan. I hate the Yankees but that attire was absolutely flames. 
teams. We never got our night at Champion CM Punk in the you know the New York Yankee attire. So hopefully Matt Riddle can be a little bit different. But we'll just have to see about that. Who who the hell knows right now? But those are the three figures that are confirmed. Now we're gonna get into the figure that is rumored for Elite Series 78. We have R Truth, Seth Rollins, and Matt Riddle all confirmed for Elite 78 for sure. And then the rumored figure, not confirmed again, not confirmed. This is a rumor right now, but it is Randy Orton. Now, one thing that we will mention is I think Randy Orton was supposed to be a part of the SummerSlam wave that was Elite 77, I think. I want to say I remember hearing this or reading this somewhere. I can't remember the source, but I do. I think I even told you guys about this. Elite Series 77 was supposed to include Randy Orton, and what I had originally thought was it was going to be... You, know, you guys know that Elite 77 this year is the SummerSlam wave, so I was thinking maybe they're going to give us a flashback SummerSlam Randy Orton for the SummerSlam wave, and it was going to be the night he beat Chris Benoit to win the World Heavy Championship at SummerSlam 2004. Now, that's what I would guess if that was going to be part, but maybe, you know, things happened. They couldn't make it happen, so they pushed him back to Elite Series 78. So maybe this will be another Legend Killer style or flashback Randy Orton. It will actually be the SummerSlam attire, or maybe it will be just a earlier Randy Orton. I know we have the Elite 49 figure, but it would be really awesome to see him get another release in a different, you know, one of those bright colored trunks, whether it be Backlash 04, SummerSlam 04, just any of those bright, Unforgiven. I mean, there's there's so many great tights that Randy Orton wore back in the day. And so I would be happy with any of those attires. But those are the four figures we have right now. You guys know that we will have seven total figures because you got to think we have six regular elites and then you have the chase variant. Not the chase variant. Well, you do have the chase variant. I guess you could say it's eight figures in a wave because you have six. You have the chase variant of one of those six. And then you have the collector's edition, which will be Walmart or Target exclusive. And we don't know what the hell that's going to be. So uh, that is all up in the air. We don't really know. But one thing I did think about is, you know, the two figures that are missing from this set, I've heard rumors that it could be Viking Raiders, which we included in our video from yesterday and figures we need. That would be awesome. I think that'd be a shot in the dark, honestly. I don't know if that's, you know, a strong rumor, if it's just a little bit of a rumor, not exactly sure. But Viking Raiders, I think, are on the radar to be in Elite Series 78. And then uh, a few other figures that could be, you know, Sting was shown at San Diego Comic-Con, haven't really seen him. China is a figure that we saw in, at San Diego Comic-Con, haven't really seen him. And so is Greg the Hammer Valentine. So, I mean, there's three figures right there that could plug into the way somewhere. We don't know if that's, you know, completely true. Maybe they have plans for those in a different wave. We don't know all the extent of it yet, just yet, but uh, Elite 78 is featuring R-Truth, Rollins, and Riddle for sure, and Randy Orton is the rumor, and then you have those three other spots that we're still waiting on, but that is going to be, you know, excellent. I'm, I'm happy for this wave already. I know a lot of people are probably sick of Seth Rollins. I'm not one of those people. You guys know I have a freaking whole line of my freaking wall Full of, full of Seth Rollins, so it doesn't really matter to me. I, I like Seth Rollins a lot. Now I'm going to go through the figures for the next four series. We're going to cover the next four series, guys. So starting off with Elite Series 75, you guys do know that we have the Hurricane, Pete Dunn, Mandy Rose, Seth Rollins, Kalisto, and Jeff Hardy. Really, really strong wave. Very excited for this wave. Cannot wait to see what all of these figures look like at Final Images. And I know we already know what uh, all of them look like besides Jeff Hardy. We've seen the renders of them, but we don't know exactly what Jeff Hardy concrete is going to be and uh, I'm really I know that obviously we know it's going to be like a 2002 era but uh, I'm ready to see what the figure looks like what accessories the head sculpt all that good stuff we don't know just yet but there is Elite 75 moving on to Elite Series 76 we are getting Lacey Evans Heavy Machinery Tucker and Otis we're getting John Cena Braun Strowman and Christian which is the chase variant which that is going to be all of Elite Series 76 pretty strong wave right here pretty excited to see all of these guys we know what all of these look like like besides John Cena and Braun Strowman, but we do know what Heavy Machinery looked like. We've seen their render for a while now. Lacey Evans, we obviously know we've seen her render for a while now. And Christian, we already know he's the Chase variant. It'll probably be a black shirt, which we covered in a video a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago or a day. I don't freaking know, man. I, I lose count. But we know what Elite Series 76 is. That's the full wave there. As far as Elite 77 goes, we do know it is the SummerSlam wave, which is featuring AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt as the Fiend. We have Viscera, Ravishing Rick Rude and Elizabeth. So there's the full Elite Series 77 wave. It's going to be SummerSlam theme, which we already know from Bill. We've already confirmed that. We already took a look at what Bray Wyatt's going to look like. Obviously, I did the little color image or whatever, but it did look good. I'm really excited for this wave as well. That Fiend figure is going to be very highly sought after. Like, Jesus Christ, the pre-order is going to go in like a matter of instances. So not really looking forward to that. That uh, You definitely want to get your pre-order in on that figure. But then we have Elite Series 78, which is R-Truth, Rollins, and Matt Riddle with the uh, the rumor of Randy Orton obviously being in there. 
But uh, that's pretty sick, man. You know, we're still waiting on Ringside to post images of Elite Series 75. I am still waiting on that. They've already put up the pre-order. Now all we're waiting on is proto images and stuff like that, which as soon as they drop the proto images, I will be uploading them to you guys so we can, so we can go through them, talk about them, you know, uh, check them out and talk about them and give all the critiques of it, you know, what they're going to look like, how they're going to be, and all of that as the prototypes, different head sculpts, accessories, stuff like that. So we will cover, cover all of that. And then uh, we're just waiting on, you know, different images, man. I mean, that's pretty much it. We're waiting on confirmation. I can pretty much say Elite 75 through 78 so far is pretty much confirmed. I don't think they can switch up anything. I think they're all but, you know, uh, posted by ringside, which I think um, is pretty much confirmed. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you think of the WWE Elite Series 78 and what you think of Elite Series 75, 76, and 77 as well if you would like. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.